Why do I shiver when it's cold? Body shivering, teeth chattering, why does our body descend into a twitching mess in the cold? If you are looking for an answer to that question, you've come to the right place. In this video, we reveal to you in simple terms the scientific reason why we shiver. So make sure to watch this video till the end and subscribe to Your Health TV to get videos like this recommended to you every week. When it gets cold out, goosebumps start to rise, teeth chatter, and shivering sets in. It turns out that shivering is an adaptation we have maintained to increase the amount of heat in our body. Let's take a look at how this odd jerky motion performs thermogenesis, the creation of heat. Humans and other mammals are endotherms, which means that they constantly regulate their body temperature within a certain range. This is in contrast to ectotherms, which generally conform to or tolerate environmental temperatures and therefore experience a wider range of body temperatures. Being an endotherm has its advantages and disadvantages. While an ectotherm is reliant on environmental temperatures for effective foraging and predator avoidance, an endotherm can maintain favorable body temperatures by generating its own body heat. However, constantly producing heat requires a lot of energy that then cannot be used for growth or reproduction. This results in a trade-off between high energy costs and increased function in cold environments. Mammals like us have evolved with the endothermic strategy. As a result, many of our physiological processes and the molecular components that comprise them, e.g. enzymes, are adapted to function in a strict range of temperatures that reflect our normal body temperature. In humans, this range is 95 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 to 40 degrees Celsius. If the body temperature reaches the lower or upper part of this range, it will induce physiological changes like shivering and sweating. You're probably familiar with the idea that body temperatures that are too low or too high can have serious consequences, which is why we use body temperature as an indicator of sickness. In situations where heat loss is greater than heat produced, thermoreceptors in the central nervous system will be stimulated to induce higher levels of thermogenesis. This causes the body to start recruiting various mechanisms to increase body temperature back to the optimal temperature range. When the body temperature begins to drop below 98 degrees Fahrenheit or 36.8 degrees Celsius, blood flow to the skin surface will be decreased due to constriction of blood vessels, a process called vasoconstriction. This minimizes loss of heat from the warm blood in the core of the body. Below 96.8 Fahrenheit, or 36 degrees Celsius, the body initiates non-shivering thermogenesis, a process where fat in the brown adipose tissue is rapidly broken down to produce large amounts of heat. Essentially, fats are used as fuel for cellular metabolism. A byproduct of metabolism is heat, so increasing one's metabolic rate increases the amount of heat produced. Shivering, or involuntary shaking, typically begins below a threshold of 95.9 degrees Fahrenheit or 35.5 degrees Celsius. Shivering can substantially increase metabolic rate five to six times higher than the resting rate, producing needed heat as the body begins to drop to dangerously cold temperatures. What's actually happening when you shiver? Shivering is an involuntary reflex. Your brain is taking control of your body to save your life in paired skeletal muscles that perform opposing motions like contraction and relaxation. When shivering is initiated, both contracting and relaxing muscles are stimulated to move. However, since both muscles are being stimulated, there is minimal net movement of your body. Stimulation of muscles causes cellular metabolism to increase and in this situation, the energy produced is directed toward heat instead of performing physical work. The strong twitches we perceive as shivering are evidence that your skeletal muscles are now battling it out to keep you warm. Shivering is utilized for thermogenesis by nearly all adult endotherms, mammals and birds, but it has also been seen in snakes and insects. For example, pythons will wrap their body around their eggs and use shivering in trunk muscles raising their temperature almost 45 degrees Fahrenheit or 25 degrees Celsius above ambient temperature to incubate their eggs for quicker development. Insects also utilize shivering to warm muscles needed for flight, sometimes increasing muscle temperature to 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius. Maintaining the correct body temperature is essential for proper functioning, not only in humans, 
but in animals across the tree of life. While shivering may seem somewhat inconvenient or even uncomfortable, know it is just your muscles and cells working hard to keep you warm. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and share this video with someone who might find it useful. Thanks for watching and see you again in another video.